welcome to the fall 2014 edition of Five for Frank. In the intervening few months, I've gotten a ton of questions. I've gotten a ton of models. Uh, I really can't tell you how exciting it is to get these questions and models from customers. I can't believe some of the things people are doing with Space Claim. And not only are we interacting with the users, uh, and, but we're getting case studies done, and we're getting real enhancements in the software based on questions you're ac actually asking. So Mark asks, is Space Claim at a disadvantage by not being like other CAD packages? This difference is exactly our advantage. We are not like any other CAD packages. We totally redesigned the interface and how you interact with objects on the screen. And these objects on the screen are intended to come directly from what you're imagining in your head. We're trying to remove the difficulty in you know what you have in your head and you don't want to fight with a bunch of interface just to get it into the, into the computer. Furthermore, we started Space Claim to make engineers working lives better. Your job easier to do, more fun, and easier to get the ideas that are in your head into the computer. You don't do that by thinking about how to program a model, doing a huge recipe of a model like all the other CAD systems do, or with the one by one by one by one picking of menus and then selections. You do it by getting immediate results you do it by having fun and easy to use consistent functions. And that's what we try to do all the time. So ASCO asks, why can't we have surface naming functionality in Space Claim? And I think what he really is getting at is, why can't you have repeatable operations in Space Claim? Whether those repeatable actions or operations are putting surface and boundary conditions and loads and all that stuff that an uh, analysis user would do, or whether you're just a regular space ground customer and you don't want to repeat what you've done for however long on a very similar next model. And I think that question really goes to the next very good question that someone else asked, which is, why can't you have feature modeling, which is what we're talking about here, and direct modeling, which space ground is built on, in the same system? And so my answer to that second one, and really the first one too, is that you can have it. And no one's done it right yet. And I think that we're well placed, given our history here, to solve it in a way that nobody else has solved it. Now you might ask, why are we well suited to solve this problem when all these other pretty smart people have tried and I think failed at this problem? And it goes to the heart of Space Claim as a usable platform for development and we are architected for usability and when you have a decently usable product you can build on it whatever we have built on it direct modeling we can build on it replayable functions and in fact inside space claim there are many things that are replayable it just happens behind the scenes without you really even knowing about it so the task really is to expose what we're already doing and manage it in a way that's not a horrible user interface. So Ed asks, what makes Space Claim a great choice for industrial designers taking models all the way from part ideation all the way to drawings? So look, Space Claim, look, there are whole companies and whole softwares dedicated to industrial design. You can do some rudimentary industrial design with space plane, but where we excel is in adding the mounting holes, the bosses, the engineering features that you have to make on these swoopy swoopy parts to make them actually creatable in manufacturing. In addition to that, we have great drawings. They satisfy all the standards. You can do great gd &T, you can do great dimensions. They look really good, they look really modern, and it's easy to use. So Diego asks, is Space Claim stuck with the original design philosophy of our user interface? And he adds that many are. Or are we ever going to be able to push the current state of the art in user interface design for our product itself? And I love this question, and I've actually come back to it easily every week in the months since it was asked. It totally challenges how I'm looking at the product. 
because while our whole process at Space Claim is built on continually tweaking every function, every feature, every bit of UI all the time, ever since the beginning. That's how our whole process works. Nothing is ever written down ahead of time except for the need. What you, you end up seeing in the software is the product of endless iteration watching how we ourselves and customers use it and fixing it and changing it all the time. So you should look forward to changes all the time. But those are little ones. And I think his question went to the bigger question. And that's, can we, are we ever going to get to the next level of interface design with space claim? And here is the second piece. And that's with the ANSYS acquisition and getting all these smart people asking us pretty much this similar question. Where are we taking the space claim interface? We're getting the opportunity to really examine what we're doing revisit initial assumptions and begin to make real changes in how our interface works. And you should look forward to as users pretty amazing stuff happening that, that it was hard to even conceive of a few years ago. But we're working on it already. So to wrap up, I love doing these. I love that you are sending me questions, sending me models, questioning our initial assumptions, and it can't be easy to go up to look at blog posts and watch videos. So the people who are actually watching this, thank you so much for watching and for sending us stuff. Just to recap, the email address is 5 for frank at spaceclaim.com, and I can't believe I'm saying this out loud, but it's also on Twitter and Facebook and everything. Hashtag fight for Frank.